Okay, so since this is this like a dust seal, it doesn't really do anything. We're gonna take this off. It's all bent to hell. We just pry that out of there. And if you use a screwdriver, it'd be a lot help, a lot more handier than the hip. If you give me, I got a bad cold right now. And uh, just go around, take that whole thing right off. It's just gonna cause you uh, trouble right now. So. Go ahead and take that ring right off. It's just a dust ring. You don't need it there, really. It should be there, but it's so messed up, it doesn't matter at this point. So, take it off. Now, there are several ways to get a drum off that doesn't want to come off. Um, a lot of times, you take a big hammer, bigger than this thing, that's all I could find at the moment, and a mini sludge, five pound works good, and smack it here, it will actually loosen it off enough that it'll come off, but a lot of times there's a ridge on the inside of the drum. Uh, I'm going to show you the ridge on the other side. Uh, what I like to do, if you can, is go through the backside hole and de-adjust the star wheel adjuster. But most times if you just work at it, they'll put too much pressure. You don't want to pull the hold down pins out of the... Anyway, a lot of out of the shoes. A lot of times if you just work at it and uh, pound it straight down with the hammer sometimes on top, it'll break that ridge by itself or just enough that you can get the drum off. Anyway, we continue prying and I'll show you what the ri this ridge looks like on this side. Now, the ridge I'm talking about is this rust buildup. Um, over time, the shoes will actually wear down the steel and uh, a ridge will form on the outside. Now, I pried this one off, which tells me that the shoes are probably not adjusted up properly and a lot of times, if you notice, this one's got original brake shoes on the back. Um, on these, some of these GMs, the rear brakes hardly work at all. Um, anyway, so you can get in there. This axle seal is dry, but if you're going to do the one, you should do two. And you can see the amount of dirt, uh, brake dust in there. It's not good. Now another way to check the wheel cylinder is, is to pry it over. If you see the pistons going in and out. There's two pistons, one on this side, one on this side. And what it does when you push the brakes, it applies pressure in an outwards direction against the drum, causing this shoe here to hit the drum, and then put your brakes on, obviously. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and pry this uh, dust ring off. It should be there. It helps keep the mud in that out. But this one's all, you can tell where it's been rubbing out. I'm just going to take it off. They're kind of a pain sometimes, but, you know, anyway, let's get rid of it. Thank you.